Welcome to the first training of SAP FICO module. This is a video based training and it covers complete SAP FICO module. Let's start with what we will be doing in today's training. Today's training is divided into three parts. First, an overview on the SAP FICO module. Second, we will be covering the course contents. And in third, we'll be taking up a practical example in the SAP FICO part and we'll see how it works within the SAP system as live. Now as discussed the table of content which includes SAP FICO overview and then the course content. The course content is divided into two parts one is FI submodules overview and then the controlling submodules overview and then the other topics. Now moving on to the SAP FICO module overview. SAP FICO module refers to the finance which refers to FI and the controlling which is CO module. FI and CO are the core modules of SAP system. FI which is finance refers to financial accounting whereas CO refers to controlling and generally it is termed as the managerial accounting. FI is updates for external reporting and CO is used for internal reporting purposes. The module is tightly integrated with sales and distribution module which is called ST whereas material management which is called MM module. So FICO is very much tightly integrated with the ST and the MM module part. This FI and CO are two different sub parts which is termed as we have seen. One is termed as FI which is for external reporting purposes whereas CO which is for internal reporting purposes. This will now this diagram will give you a better picture of the FICO part. There are two kinds of reporting being done that is external and internal accounting or reporting. As you can see on the on the diagram on the picture that the external parties over here are the external parties who need various informations from the company's accounts and finance department. Whereas within the box these are the internal parties which need informations for internal purposes like for auditors they need accounts and the financial statements for auditing perspective. Similarly for tax authorities they need different tax related informations which is a part of FI that is financial accounting. Similarly the stockholders, banks, legal authorities these all needs the financial statements that is profit and loss account and the income statement and which is being generated from the external accounting that is SAP FI module. Whereas for internal reporting like administrators or the management, managers, controllers to control various costs within the company they need the internal reports which is a part of controlling module. So these are two different parts which we will be taking up in two different parts in which we will be first taking up the FI module and then after that we'll be going to the CO module because without FI module you cannot implement CO module in any any organization as all the data flows from the FI that is the finance and accounting to the controlling part or to the managerial accounting part. Moving on the training which we are going on uh, which you will be taking up will include these three things. One is step by step configurations, step by step transaction processing and step by step report generation. Whatever the FICO whole course or the complete FICO module part will be providing you each and every configuration steps 
what you have to do, what kind of a configurations to be done. And once you have done the configuration, we will be going for transaction processing so as to check that whatever the configurations are done are successful and up to the mark. And we'll be able to deliver the results. And once you have completed the configuration and the transactions, then we'll be looking for the reports as the various reports are needed within an organization for external reporting as well as for internal reporting. So moving on to the next. Now these are the various topics in the FA module which we will be covering. This is the part of the course content. The course content is divided into two parts. One is FA and another is CU. So in the FA submodule overview, it includes your enterprise structure, general ledger accounting, then accounts payable, accounts receivable, bank accounting, assets accounting. So if you go to these one by one, the enterprise structure, as you can see on the screen, is the organizational structure that represents an enterprise in the SAP system. It is a portrayal of an enterprise hierarchy where there is a client and then there is a company and the company code, then the business area and the functional areas. Whereas moving on to the next is your general ledger accounting. The general ledger accounting holds all the accounts for balance sheet and income statements. The ledger, general ledger accounting includes your chart of account, account group, master data, then posting journal entries, recurring entries, accrual and deferrals, parking reversals and mass reversals, then again interest calculations and clearing and auto clearing, financial statement versions and reports. So this is a part of general ledger. This is just an overview what we'll be covering as a course content. And later on, we'll be going for each of these topics in detail, how these have been done. Again, moving on to the next accounts payable. Accounts payable, which is basically re related to the vendors or the suppliers. In this, it is a real time integration with the general ledger part. Then it's integrated with the material management as a part of your procurement cycle and it includes your outgoing payment program, then the vendor master data, invoice posting, payments, down payment, then the period and year end activities and the various reports related to the vendors or suppliers you can say. If we move on to accounts receivable, now in this also it is a real-time integration with the general ledger. It is highly integrated with sales and distribution module and then material and management module as a part of sale cycle. The receivables includes customer invoice posting, incoming payment, down payment from customer, then interest calculation on the customers if the payment has been delayed, dunning for sending notices to the customers for their payment due, then the period and the year and activities and the various reports related to customers. Bank accounting. Bank accounting which includes all your banking transactions like incoming payment from the various parties, then the outgoing payment to suppliers and others and to employees, all those will be covered in this. So we'll be including your banking configurations then the check management, how the check have been issued, where it has been uh, been maintained within the SAP system. If a check has been bounced, how we would be how we would be dealing with that, and how we can get the reports related to the checks and related to the banking balances and all those will be deal in it. Then automatic payment run can also be done. Bank reconciliation. A real-time bank reconciliation is possible in the SAP system and then the cash journal which includes your day-to-day -day cash transactions. The next comes is the asset accounting. Asset accounting is a real-time integration with the general ledger and it is also highly integrated with different other modules like material management, accounts receivables, then accounts payable and the cost accounting or you can say controlling that is the CO module. Asset accounting we will be including the asset master data, various asset transactions like 
purchasing of assets, retirement of assets, scrap, then transfer of assets from one department to another department or one place to another place within the organization, how depreciation calculation is done, then again the period end and year end activities to be taken care of and the various reports within the asset accounting part. So these are the major modules in the SAP FI part and apart from this we'll be taking up other topics within the SAP FI CO FI part which you should be knowing you should know as a as a consultant like sale and purchase tax the different kind of a tax has been imposed by the the government or by the legal authorities or the tax authorities related to sale and purchases have been taken care of over here then the withholding tax part which take care of the taxes on your or tax deposit on your withholding tax refers to the tax deducted at source so the amount of tax which is deducted on your income or the salaries which has been deposited to the government directly by the employer so that will be taken up within the withholding tax part even the vendor payment and vendor invoice have been subjected to the withholding tax or the TDS will be taken up in this then there are various foreign currency valuations will be taken care like the fluctuation in foreign currencies and the foreign currency transactions if your your particular company's currency dealing in the in in dollars and suppose you are having transaction in euros or yen or some other currencies how you would be taking care of that so that will be taken care in the foreign currency valuation part then again the financial statement version which take care of your financial statement how it will be reflected how you want to see your financial statements within the SAP system you can design that so that is financial statement version and broadly in the FI part what are the different year period and the year and activities we will be taking care of that as a consolidated part and apart from this another important part is integration with other modules now the integration includes FI and CO that is the financial accounting and controlling module integration then the FI and MM that is the material management that refers to procure to pay and FI and SD that is order to cash so a real-time transactions flows from various modules in the FI module for for the reporting perspective and that is why this integration is very very important to be taken care of and you, it's very important for you to understand this very seriously so this is a part of SAP FI module content which we'll be covering and moving on to the next is your SAP CO overview and the SAP CO content which will be taking care in the training part so controlling is the term by which SAP refers to managerial accounting controlling provides information for management decision making it basically refers to the minimizing the cost and maximizing the profit through actual and plan analysis so there are various major reports which gives you the status of what were the actual spends actual cost and what were the plan cost and accordingly the analysis can be done that where the cost has been exceeded and why and it has been exceeded and the things have, can be taken care of that so it is a fully integration with other modules controlling and financial accounting are independent components in the SAP system but yet they are very much linked to each other as due to the integration path the data flow between the two components take place on a regular basis that is a real-time basis so moving on to the course content which will be covering up in the controlling module that includes your cost element accounting FIC or reconciliation so the reconciliation over here is done on a real-time basis you don't have to go for any manual reconciliation of FI and CO it will be done by the system automatically on a real time cost center accounting in the cost center accounting will also look after the cost center planning how it has been done so you can also plan for your cost or for your expenses which have been incurred in the organization the next come up is the profit center accounting then the internal orders internal order planning product costing and profitability analysis 
if you understand if we uh, just go for a brief of each of these so if we move on to cost center accounting the first part has a content in the controlling the cost and the revenue element accounting provides an overview of the cost and revenues that occur in an organization most of the values are moved automatically from financial accounting to the controlling part